join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. So we're just heading up Merion Row now in South Dublin on our way to one of the liveliest pubs in the city. Brace yourself for a very, very busy bar experience. If you don't like crack, virgin on the point of rowdiness, then this isn't the place for you. And here it is, O'Donoghue's, one of Dublin's famous pubs. For those watching outside Ireland who are accustomed to the Irish pubs as they're defined abroad, this is the real thing. An Irish pub that's been packing them in for years. We're going to start by visiting the beer garden and then we'll get into the main public house. It's actually not so much a beer garden as you can see, it's roofed, but this does have the feeling of an outside space. Bear in mind now that this is April and not summertime. I've made quite a few films about various Irish pubs and I often shoot them during the day so that you can actually see the space, the furniture etc. But this film is to give viewers, especially foreign viewers, an idea of what they expect from a pub in an Irish city after dark. It can get a bit mad. Having said that, this part of the pub is a little quieter. This seems to be the place where couples come for a quieter pint. Anyway, into the main bar. As you can see, there's not a lot of room here. Chances are you'll end up standing if you get here late. But this is where it all happens, where Dublin's socialising is done. Admittedly, it has its fair share of tourists these days, but by and large, we have a lot of locals in the night. There's a really good atmosphere. This is actually quite a famous music bar, well known on Dublin's traditional Irish music scene. In fact, the Irish folk group, the Dubliners, is alleged to have been formed here, and the pub has hosted many other big names in Irish music over the years, many of whom adorn the walls in these portraits that you see. And like all Dublin bars, it prides itself in selling a good pint of Guinness. That's central to the Dublin pub experience. And just look at all these people, flirting, and having crack as we say here. This is what drinking in an Irish bar is all about and I've never encountered this atmosphere in a so-called Irish bar abroad. And as I mentioned music is what this bar is famous for and to make's no exception. These guys are watched over by the musical icons on the walls. So I push my way into the back bar. As you can see it too is adorned with photos that allude to the pub's illustrious past. Back to the main bar again. You can see the ceiling fans are going. As I said, it's April and not particularly warm, but there's just so many people. You really do have to push your way through the crowd to get to the toilets and getting served at the bar on a busy night like this can be difficult if you're not assertive. But this is what it's all about, lots of people sharing the same space and enjoying themselves. The poor bar staff have a nightmare of a job on nights like this. Everyone wants served and everyone's a priority. And so for me, the night's over, though the revelry continues inside. We're a long way from last orders and they're just warming up. Give the video a like if it's been interesting and please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next Naked Ireland video.